of them would be decent, but this is the more logical pick with the Rakan. We get the extra synergy with the Zayo Rakan duo. Not a round on Echo Fox's team comp. Three men dive being prepped. Honsa ready with a flash on the ultimate, but Echo already going to line it up. That should be a kill. Honsa flashed out of the stun, but it's all too late. No, maybe not. Coach of the Colossus He's going to keep him alive for a little while longer, but there's first blood over to Looper. Yeah, there we go. Basic Herald, so now you have to factor in. Okay, they gave up the extra 300 gold from turret first kill, and then they're also plays. Now they're trying to push down this mid lane. Yeah, here's the full man stack. Oh, Arrowland's in front, and he's going to evaporate Finn Scarin. Plans the execute. Now Tart's still on the sea. It's like Hadian, trying to run back around, but they've got no cooldowns left to play with. Tart's going to fall haunted, try something to play, and misses, I believe. Was looking for Keith, but didn't find it. Now Keith's gonna get thrown down by Haunter. Does flash out of the way, but a great ultimate's gonna secure the kill. Keith blew everything so early. Yeah, he just was totally outnumbered on that side. Echo Fox was funneling down with three people in the jungle and two people in the mid lane. And TSM has made a call to flash the side. Kick. There's another great one from Fence Garen. Straight into the arms of Haunter for the extra CC. Looks like it's falling apart from TPN, but they see him now. Let's see if Haunter now channels the teleport right away. That's Haunter. Bjergsen off to the side flank as Looper runs through the team. He gets exhausted. The double is still up, putting damage in case. Who's doing the play? Point blank arrow stuns up. Get Haunter with a double belly bump to stun up to Arcadian. Still trying to fight, but he goes down on the other side. Double kill with Fence Guarantee. Sam wiped the floor with Echo Fox. And you could see it was just has a way bigger impact on that team fight. And they turn straight for Baron. Mountain Drake makes it easier. They're taking full control of this game. Baron is going under 21 and a half to run very far back. Home gliding in from base, but the turret already dead. TSM with a little too much strength here. Yeah, Froggen potentially hoping for a TP, but even if they teleported in here, they're down so much. Baron's still running on TSM, so they're very strong right now. That wasn't even really kiting, but Echo Fox no better than to try and challenge him. This inhibitor might just go away with no contest. Echo Fox just gonna let it fall. Yeah, I mean, They're trying to go for something. Yeah, Haunter trying to play. Looks for Keith, does get the knockup. He's tanking the turret at this point. This gate is gonna land the knockup. Looper with the chance. Stun Haunter walking out of there. There's the ultimate committed. Froggen gets out with his own Chrono Breaker. There's Hadian stunned in the top side. Big Feather Storm in. Might be enough to save the game. The knockup is there. Hadian does get the kill. Onto Haunter, but Sven. Low in the front line as the stuns just keep coming. TSM too far ahead, too tanky in the front line. Well, the Echo Fox keep living. And they definitely lost this fight. They could get aced if Looper cleans him up here. But with the wraparound, Bjergsen into target. Does scatter the weak away, but he's going down. Carries. Now dead for TSM, and TSM just have to recover. Froggen is going to TP back in to try and clean up the Stock last guards. kills. Just Bio and Sven left, but uh, I'll keep wandering out of the way. Looper, no minions to really go to. TSM going to to split up as Froggen should be able to chase this down. Blastcone could save him. Biofrost trying to book it. Sven's already out. There's Biofrost with the ultimate of Froggen. Oh, can't interrupt Echo it. Fox will want to initiate. There's the quickness. Gate again needs to devour. Does get double it out of the way. So Looper looking for another big flank. Still hiding it out. Looper into the back line. Does get knocked up. He needs to get blown up, but Looper's still living through the onslaught. Even lives through Cinderella. This kid gets another feather on the pull. Sven's Garen back, but double it. Takes down the Rek'Sai and Echo Fox now on the run. Froggen might make a big play with the ultimate, but they have to keep running forward. Gate battle dances out the key. Then to Froggen to make sure he gets out of the way. 5v4 feels rough. Echo Fox only losing their front line, but that was enough. Yeah, where was that arrow going from Double If? You could see he had an idea for it, but he shoots it low. Uh, you can see the Renekton and Rek'Sai is just not the power of front line that they need to shred through this as TSM has multiple disengage options. They're actually shooting straight for Baron, knowing Akkadian is dead. Doesn't matter if it's on a war for them right now. Yep. First the TSM will be there shortly, and Echo Fox are trying to get there in time. Since Garen's going to see that ward. Control ward down in the pit to cut off all the vision, and now Horns up. Just going to play goalie. Got to be a little bit careful here, actually. Bjergsen doing a good job zoning them. Ah, they get Froggen's ultimate. It's over. All right, well, Froggen out. Baron goes over, and Akkadian responds. Respawn's just beat up by Biofrost once more. TSM, they're going to make sure they take down that last hit, get all the super spawning again. Oh, a stun actually into Gators. Tries to give the initiation on the Bjergsen. Charm lands in on the Sven. Sven is going to try and get zoned as Looper looks for the back line, but Double is just outputting damage again. Rek'Sai dives into the front, but gets exhausted. Frog is still trying to take down Bjergsen, but he's going to have to ulti out with Syndra unleashing the power. Now the Nexus turret's going down. Two dead already for Echo Fox on the right hand side of the play, and that's going to make it three. The Nexus now exposed TSM just too far ahead. They're going to take game one over Echo Fox. Another great Lee Sin performance by Sven Skarin as well. Five hit and a lot of squishiness right there. And because everyone is so vulnerable, TSM goes with the last pick, Cassidy. And so it's not so much that backline.
and Haunter will not expect this. No, Haunter only level two as well. Lufu with plenty of damage. He already oh, flies no. in. Acadian yep. is going to get the knock up happening. Haunter's just trying to buy time. He flashes forward. Acadian follows. Takes some turret damage, but Lufu needs to keep burning him down. First blood looking good. Going over. There it is for Lufu. Barely lives as he flashes away from the caster creep. Really confused at the delay. He hasn't even backed yet. Haunter looking for a ward, but maybe. Doesn't good, have flash. Good sense there from Haunter, I think. <laughs> The old wing coming down the bottom side. Keith already low. He's been ignited there by Bifrost. Double it flashing forward aggressively. We're going to get the last few autos. Does land as the heel comes out. And Gates now under fire. Played back by Bifrost. He just needs to line up. Yeah, they know it too. Hook attempt does land. Arrow lands in as well. The play's going to combo ignite back in there. And now Keith goes down. Bifrost with a great kill. Yeah, this lane is turning into a disaster. And this is... I always dislike when Cloud Drake is the first one to spawn. Not because I don't like Cloud Drake, but because it does so much damage to you. It's really hard Drake to solo. You can see how low Sven's gear in this composition have way more tools to make Oh, this is the problem. Good flash play from Byron. Oh, he's going to connect on the back end. Cleanse oh. the frog and hand the flash. Gets out from under the ash arrow. Nimble moves as Katie and tries to make the trade back and forth. Get with the knock up after the charm, but not enough to get the kill despite the ignite. Now Haunter. In the back line, just ripping through Acadian. Might almost be enough as Gerson looks to rip walk down. There's the kill that TSM are looking for. Deathfire Touch does get double lift on the back of the fight, though, as they couldn't quite finish off. Froggen and ended up being a common. Froggen in a clear mid lane out by a frost again. Another great hook predicting. Does get boxed back in. Sven with a good ultimate. It's going to actually burn Froggen down with the ignite. The Trump does land in, but Bio barely loses. Oh. They dive the turret gate. Also somehow alive as he actually did end up getting the kill with Bjergsen. Going to ripple King and try and take down Gate, but Gate zipping around to try and get out of the way. Bjergsen now caught up. Does get knocked up. Has to keep roof walking, but running out of mana. Ace in the hole. Going to make it a problem. And there's the Execute. Double ulties take down Bjergsen. Side waves. Rex I. Going for it. Flash knock up. It's Gerksen actually very low already. Oh, they're gonna get channeled. There's an execute. Acadian, another kill. Gerksen got to be very good. nice kill there by Echo Fox. Not enough boards. Oh, like as well. Oh, the charm lands in after the flash from Get. Great shot back from Froggen. That's what we were talking about. Pastry time. TSM was daring Echo Fox to make that play, and they didn't make did. any collapses. If that's their way of winning, double is getting targeted once again. Another catch, Lantern. No, not even close. Gets put into the bouncy castle and taken down by Froggen. And they don't have words to prevent these things from happening there while the rest of his team wasn't backing off. And now the pick the pick oh, continue. Another catch on the Bifrost. Rex is also going to get channeled. Not quite enough for the execute, but the Vite will secure it. Now Bjergsen actually running a little too far forward for the flank. Now it's the ripple awesome. here. Now they know. Oh, there's the instant TP from Echo Fox. Frog going to ulti into the pit, but that's not really going to cut anyone off. They need to just go for a steal here, I think. Also, the loop is really nice. The oh, no! Fail flashes! It's been scared! Gets the Baron and flashes out to safety. Acadian is going to get the tag and go for ah. execute. He gets hooked. No, that doesn't work. The stun does land after, but Acadian's going to live. Double lift, getting shot blocked in as Bifrost. Pulled. Acadian might be enough for even Bifrost just buying time. Not going to live to the onslaught as Frog gets the kill, but... Baron over to TSM's disaster. Yeah, this is not a mark of the play you want to build towards for your team because really hoping to find a flank. And they're actually turning it into a bit of a team fight right here. 5v5 in yeah, the mid lane. Just gonna have to force Haunter with a big flank. Look at the Keith. Gets a stun onto Looper. Hook lands in as well. He's gonna go down instantly as Double If claims that kill. Now Gate under fire as he has to run out of wave. It's been scared with a flat body slam to get the executor. And now the rest of the team moving forward. Bjergsen running down. Oh. He rip walks with so much extra damage. Gunner is gonna get popped for Oggen. Looks to line up the next cube, but the rest of the team's there to defend. Remember when we talked about late game Cassidy in, in the draft phase and how they wouldn't be able to stop from rip walking? Ooh, That's what Rexai happened. Pop back out, but he gets stunned over as the shutdown comes Super Bjergsen and TSM. Getting too many kills, they're gonna take the turret down in mid. Yeah, and unless Froggen can get a bunch of damage to clean the minion wave right here, there's a chance TSM can end. These death timers are actually pretty long. Got a lot of damage too. Let's bring Cassidy, it's gonna take chunks out of the turret. Need a few more minions, that's one turret down. TSM will exit the base. Start this. A little bit of desperation. Hauntzer is zooming up that Three cloud drakes, baby! Getting their oh, ASAP! Fast. And now Bjergsen actually with the flank. Echo Fox could be a bit too desperate. Bjergsen onto Frog and gets the Banshees off of the fight. He's gonna start Charm Lands in his Bifrost. Trying to tank it all up. Keith in the back line, just getting taken down and he falls. But Looper does take down Bio. Arrow lands as Frog is gonna be the next target for Bjergsen. Just rip, 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 oh, walks all over him. Looper pops his own, he's with Acadian. Bleeding low as Haunter with the Stone Blade tanking all the damage up. Double it is not gonna get burned down this time around. And that's four dead, gonna make it five soon as Bjergsen. He's out of mana, wants to chase down Gate. Yeah.
would just need to get a W off. Oh, Boss Cone gonna make it problematic. Get zipping out with a W. Tank in a few minutes, but Bjergsen, he wants blood. He's gonna chase him down. Riffwalk might have reset the mana cost. There it is. Last two goes, and there's the ace for TSM. It's Fang gonna end the game. Not out running the triple cloud drink once <laughs> he gets out of combat right there, but the game is done. TSM push me to take down the Nexus. Nexus exposed, and that's gonna be yet another sweep. Double Imp gonna take down the last remaining minions. Pad the stats as best he can as TSM stands strong and celebrate another clean weekend. Yeah, this is probably the sloppiest game they played.